Hello everybody. Right, so we've got a Dell Optiplex 8980 uh, and we're going to stick a TP-Link Wi-Fi card in it. So you want to pop the side off. And then down here, this one here, a bit of here, this one here is your PCIe slot for your card. So it's the TLWN881ND model. So in the box, you get the card. Two brackets for different sizes, two, two antennas that screw on, and the software, and a little bit of instructions, and your warranty. So, just have your computer off. So, it goes that way in, maybe this in focus. So we can't really have the brackets. Can't have these brackets because br the brackets are really for when you've got it in the slot down here. If you put the bracket on, it's going to touch. It's going to touch on the circuit board, on the motherboard. So we don't want that. So what we'll do is we'll put the antennas on first. So they just screw on. So, and you should be able to angle them. I believe you can, but we're going to need them straight so they go down the side of the graphics card. And put the other one on. And we'll just... There's a gap there, maybe this much, huh? there's a gap there and there's a slot in there as well. So we'll just line that up and push it in. There you go, you get a little click and that's it in. Now we'll turn it on and load the software. Okay, so let's open the CD drive, put the disc that it came with, and it's compatible with Windows 10, 8.1, 8 and 7 and Linux. This computer is running Windows 10. Okay, so we just go to the DVD drive, and here's the file, and wrong auto 1 run, auto run, All right, do you want this app, yes, and that's the right one isn't it, yep, yeah. correct, yes that's the correct one, Not responding. Okay, well it's loading. It's just this down here in the taskbar. Close the whole page down here. Okay, we'll come back when it's finished. So that took a couple of minutes more. 
kind of got stuck on 54 and then it just zapped to 100. So it's installed, let's go OK. So there's the folder there, it just has the uninstall folder, so you don't want to do that. Alright, how do you get this to connect? Okay. Need the password. Okay, go next. Connecting. It's on Wi Fi. Connected. See the internet cables disconnected, it's not plugged in on the back. So we are running off the Wi Fi. And it's very slow. Okay, so a speed test uh, is very, very slow. So I'm wondering whether because the antennas and that are inside the computer, that's causing a problem. So I just took the cover off and the speed test is much better. It's still slow. Okay, so it's doing an update and this computer ain't that great. So when this is happening, it always slows the computer down. So we'll just wait for this to finish. And I have taken the cover off and now I've put the aerials in a different position, try and get them up out of the box as much as we can. Okay, so this is different computer and we're on the cable, not on the Wi-Fi. And we'll do the test. So clearly it's better, and we'll check what the other computer does. Okay, it's finished doing updates. Uh, we'll do a speed test with it connected with a cable. We're getting peaks of 50. Right, pulled the cable out. Let's connect the Wi Fi. Right, so we're connected Wi Fi. Wrong one. Try it again, that was much better.
the upload and download is much uh, more even with this Wi-Fi. Okay, so I put the antennas back down inside, put the cover on, restarted it. It connects automatically straight away. So it's pretty quick like that. Let's do another speed test. Definitely seems to have slowed down. Yep. Look at that. Yep. You definitely got to have the antennas out in the open. And it's lost connection, actually. So, yeah. Very poor connection when they're not, when they're inside the computer. So, if you. Other than that, it seems to be working as fast as the internet can do here, so that's all good. You just need to install it properly on uh, on the right computer. It's not for this computer anyway, I just wanted to try it out. So, drop down in the comments, give us a like, see you later.